my dream, I saw Julia is there, Mark is there eating in the table, I believe Pastor Nell is there too, and um, I saw Andrea eating. At, uh, uh, see Andrea, she has a rice and uh, two, two fish of sardines, sardinas dalawang. And then she ate one of the sardines and then she said, I don't want to eat this anymore. And then she wants to throw the other sardines. And I said to her, don't throw the sardines because I'm going to eat it. And, uh, excuse, excuse me. Um, Sabi so said, don't throw the sardines because it's, I'm going to eat it. And then Mark saw me eating, uh, so I'm going to, um, to, to, to bring that food in the table, that rice and that, that sardines. And then Mark looked at it and I said, you want me to open another can of sardines? And then, and then while I'm looking at that sardines, there is something in my mind, I said, oh, we have now a, a food on, uh, on this coming Sunday. We have now um, uh, a food that we, got, we are going to eat in our preaching. That's the thoughts that I have in my mind. What I am looking on that. So that's why I'm asking the Lord that Thursday, Lord, what is sardines? Where can I find that, uh, that sardines in the Bible? Tabi ko na lang ang connection ng sardines to Ichabod, to Jabez. Sabi ko na how can I connect it? So I'm so tired that I'm browsing Lord, give me the word that there, there, there's a spark, that there's a spark. Praise the Lord God if I am still alive. 
swallow me whole. But he said, you know, sometimes when I look at our results, of course we're gonna choose the best one. Now, if I if I tell you you are dead, you will accept it. I don't think you will accept it. If you will say to me that I am dead.
just be there to, to, so that we are present on, on Wednesday, on Bible study, in, in, in uh, every Sunday. But if God look on our heart, it's neither home, it's neither heart. And this time, God said, and sometimes we are also faithful. We are excited, hallelujah. Even though we are weak, even though we have a little strength, even though we are sick, hallelujah, hallelujah. These sicknesses cannot keep us because we want to run to the Lord God. We want to attend services. We want, the, we want the, the revival. We want the spring of revival. We want the presence of the Lord God. We want to stay here in the presence of God. We want to worship God because there is some faithfulness. There is some zealousness. There is some passion that arises inside you. It's like in the Philadelphia. This time he said, I know your works, your passion towards me, and the things I asked you to do is about already to die. So I sit and I analyze. I might be, become a judgmental or critical on the church and even on myself. I want to be sure that the word that I receive, it really comes from the Lord God. So I sit there and, ana and I analyze things. Okay, I make it in a general way. We go to, to, to our work or school, put our energy, our effort, our love. We are so diligent to the company that we are working. We need income, right? Fair enough. We need salary. We need income. We need money. So fair enough. So every week we are diligent to buy our stuffs for our groceries. We do that, right? Oh, well, of course. We need food. That's fair enough. Okay. We visit our friends to catch up things, attending special events. Of course, we want to enjoy life. It's fair enough. And we are so excited going here and there. I know a good time or sometimes your, your faith wants to collapse, but you are so excited going here and there because you are doing your shopping. You are going to, to buy things to beautify yourself, your house to give something for your children. Of course, you can say to make life colorful. That's fair
Much is given, much is required. You will ask me, how about Sister Beth in other church? You cannot feel the presence of God there. Why they are alive? Why they, 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 they claim to themselves that they are alive? You know that, you know that they don't know about it? Because, because they shut the mouth of the prophet. They thought they are alive. But how is you standing before God? You remember the preaching last week? What is that? Is that fellowship? Or is it just religion? You just come here because of that passion, of that jealousness, because you want to meet God. You are so excited. Ano naman ang gagawin ng Panginoon na sa aming bukas? Are you here? Are you excited? You, it, 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 it's really come to your mind. Lord, ano naman kaya aming mga nasan today? Or you just come here? Remember, he says, remember therefore how you have and heard, hold fast and repair. When you speak about remember, to recall to the mind with effort, to retain in the memory. Your synonym for now remember is don't forget, be sure, be certain, recall, call to mind or recollect. So even sabihin, wag mo Thank you. 
Bible preacher that preaches the faith of the, the people. That God is a loving God. He is a loving God. But He is still God. That's right. You know, sometimes we are happy to own the spirit of rebellion and disobedience. You know, sometimes when someone says, You know, God says, You are so rebellious, Meron disobedience. Ganun talaga ako, brother. Dile ganun talaga ako. Ma-rebel na ako. Disobedience ako. Say, Ano ako? Ganun ako eh. Ganun talaga ako. Talaga, may hindi ko lupo eh. Talaga, pag nagalit ako, ganun ako eh. We own it. We claim it. That is said, we humbly sana, we humble ourselves and ask God for His forgiveness and do the right thing. I will show to you one responses in uh, open your Bible in first Samuel and then I'll read it fast and I allow this pulpit for the Lord God first Samuel 4 okay let us start in 17 first Samuel 4 17 so the messenger answered and said Israel has fled before the Philistine and there has been a great slaughter among the people. Also, your two sons, Hamlet and Phineas, are dead, and the ark of God has been captured. Then it happened when he mentioned to the ark of, the, of God that Eli fell off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck was broken, and he died. For the man was old and heavy, and he judged Israel forty years. Now his daughter-in-law, Phineas, wife, was with child due to be delivered and when she heard the news that the ark of God was captured and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead she bowed on herself and gave birth for her labor pains came upon her and about the time of her death the women who stood by her said to her do not fear for you have born a son but she did not answer nor did she regard it. <laughs> then she named the child Ichabod. Ichabod saying the glory has departed from Israel. Because the ark of God has been captured and because of her father-in-law and her husband and she said the glory has departed from Israel for the ark of God has been captured. Ichabod. The presence, the glory of God has been departed. Hallelujah. Instead of asking God for forgiveness, hallelujah, even if it is too late, para na lang sa kanya anak, she named her son, Ikabo. The glory has been departed from Israel. You marked your son. She marked And that and me 
granted him what he requested. He was named him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But Charles, he don't want to accept that name. Hallelujah. He don't want to accept that name.
This is a church. And God is still alive. As long as God is alive, I will be restored. We will be restored. God wants a humble people. A humble spirit. Like Prophet Isaiah says, Here I am, Lord, send me. Here I am, Lord. Make me a walking Bible, a walking miracle, a walking signs and wonders. 